What if I told you there's a shape, a structure that exists not in three dimensions, but in four? A place where time is not a river, but a landscape. A place where the past, present, and future exist side by side waiting to be explored. This is the Tesseract. And once you step inside, reality itself begins to bend. Let's start simple. You and I live in three spatial dimensions, length forward and backward, with side to side, height, up and down. Everything we see, from skyscrapers to seashells, fits inside this 3D framework. Now imagine a two-dimensional creature living on a flat sheet of paper. This is flatland. To them they can move left, right, forward, and backward, but up and down doesn't exist. If you, as a 3D being, placed your finger through their flat world, they'd only see a cross-section, a circle growing and shrinking as you moved your finger in and out. The same way we can't fully imagine the fourth dimension, but we can see its shadows. Just like flatlanders see the shadow of your finger, a tesseract also called a hypercube is to a cube what a cube is to a square. Think of it like this. 0d, a point, and 1d, a line between two points. 2d, a square, a line moved in a new direction. 3d, a cube, a square moved in a new direction. 4d, a tesseract, a cube moved in a new, unimaginable direction. In math, a tesseract has eight cubic cells, just as a cube has six square faces. But here's the kicker. We can't see it directly. We can only represent it through 3D projections, the same way a cube casts a 2D shadow on the wall. That's why when you search Tesseract online, you often see something like a cube within a cube, connected at the corners. That's not the full Tesseract, just its 3D shadow. Okay, so how do we make sense of something so alien? Let's use a few analogies. 1. The security camera analogy. A normal camera captures a 2D image of a 3D scene. But what if you had a 4D camera? It wouldn't just take a picture of space. It would capture the entire history of that space. Every moment, frozen together, accessible at once. 2. The filing cabinet analogy. Imagine your life as a row of folders in a cabinet, each folder containing a single moment in time. You live by pulling out one folder after another. This is what we call time. But a tesseract lets you step outside the cabinet and pick any folder, past or future 3 MRI scan of time. Just as an MRI machine slices through your body to reveal what's inside without cutting you open, a tesseract could slice through your timeline, showing your past and future selves simultaneously. In Interstellar, Cooper falls into a black hole, specifically, the supermassive black hole Gargantua. Instead of being crushed instantly by gravity, he enters what the movie depicts as a tesseract. Inside, the walls aligned with infinite versions of his daughter's bedroom. Each version represents a different moment in time. Cooper can move through space, but also through time as if it were a physical dimension. While the Tesseract in the movie is fictional, it's based on real concepts from Einstein's general relativity. In extreme gravitational fields, like near a black hole, time dilation becomes extreme. If a hypothetical 5D space existed outside our 4D spacetime, you could theoretically navigate time like space. In the film, advanced beings create this tesseract so Cooper can send a message back in time via gravity waves, something that can travel across time without breaking the laws of physics. Mathematically, yes. Physically, it's complicated. Mathematicians have proven the geometry of a tesseract. It exists in higher dimensional mathematics just as surely as a cube exists in 3D. But to build one physically, you'd need access to a higher spatial dimension something we don't currently know how to reach. Some theories and string theory suggest our universe might have hidden dimensions curled up at microscopic scales. If we could somehow unfold these dimensions, we might glimpse structures like a tesseract, not as an object, but as a region of space-time where all points in time are connected. If tesseracts were real and accessible, you could meet your younger or older self. You could study ancient history as it happened. You could send information back in time without paradox because you'd see time as a whole, not a line. But it also means free will becomes complicated. If the future already exists, are we just walking along a path that's already written, or can we change it? The Tesseract is more than just a mathematical curiosity. It's a reminder that the universe might be far stranger than our senses allow us to see. To a flatlander, a cube is magic. To us, a Tesseract is impossible until it's not. This is beyond Newton where we don't just ask what reality is. We dare to ask what it could be.